Puff pastry is a laminated dough. It uses lamination as a method of aeration. There are a few different varieties of puff pastry that are available. These are French, Scottish and English. Each method encloses butter in the pastry in a different way. In all methods, we start with a detremp or base dough, which is largely composed of flour and water. In the English method, the detremp is pinned out into a rectangle three times as long as it is wide. We pin out the butter to two thirds the size of the detremp and place it on top, folding the detremp over the butter twice until it is fully enclosed. For the French method, we pin out the detremp into a blunt cross. The arms of the cross should be a quarter of the thickness of the centre. We place our shaped butter into the centre of the cross and fold each arm over it to fully enclose the butter. The Scottish method, or rough puff, simply involves adding cold diced butter into the detremp once the detremp is developed. The butter is dispersed randomly. With every method, we laminate the puff pastry with butter to aid in aeration, allowing the pastry to puff up. Before baking, we must fold the dough to produce many layers. A way of folding laminated dough is the book fold. To perform this fold, we take the short end of each dough and fold it into the centre. We then fold it in half again. The advantage of this method is that only four book folds are needed to produce a sufficient amount of alternating layers of butter and dough. If you use a single fold, you'll need six to achieve the same result. When the pastry is baked, the butter melts splitting into fat and milk solids between the layers of dough. The milk solids evaporate into steam, forcing the layers of dough apart. The fat cooks out and sets the starch in the dough layers.